tonight we're here with Tom Fisk, the former pastor of St. Martin's Episcopal Church here in Fairmont, Minnesota. Tom is heading to Gillette, Wyoming, mm -hmm. and uh, he has been glad, been willing to share with us this evening, take a time away from his packing to share right. a little time with us. Tom, what would you miss most about Fairmont and your congregation at St. Martin's? At St. Martin's, I will miss the people the most. Mm -hmm. uh, I grew very, very fond of all the families and all the people there at St. Martin's Episcopal Church in the five years that I was there. And I've made very, very close friends there at St. Martin's. And so I will, I will miss them. Uh, I will miss their giving spirit and their, their, just their spirit themselves. In the town of Fairmont, I, again, I think I'll miss the friends that I've made here. Um, uh, St. Fairmont has been just a, a very fun place to, uh, to live for the last five years. Good answer. I liked what you also told me on the phone about the inclusion that you noticed at, at Mar in St. Martin's. Um, yes, St. Martin's Episcopal Church um, has been reaching out to those people who have been disenfranchised from um, the mainstream society for whatever reasons. Uh, and the Episcopal Church has too, since its uh, foundations in this world, in the new world. Um, the um, um, community of, uh, of St. Martin's reaches out to those who uh, are in need, um, um, who don't have any other place to turn for perhaps uh, um, aid and uh, getting, getting back up on their feet and getting into the, into the society. So, and those also those people who feel disenfranchised from from religion for whatever reasons, uh, maybe they uh, maybe their lifestyles or or um, whatnot. Uh, there's a, a large group of people that are feel disenfranchised because of the language barrier. And St. Martin's Episcopal Church has tried to reach out to those people also. Excellent, so. excellent. That also makes such a contribution to our community mm -hmm. to do that. Mm -hmm. So, what kind of challenges are you looking forward to in Gillette? Um, in Gillette, um, Holy Trinity Episcopal Church is going to be building a new church, and I have uh, never done that before, so that's going to be quite an experience. Uh, I'm looking very forward to that, to helping that community build a new church. Uh, I'm going to be uh, looking forward also to living uh, back out in the West. I'm a Western boy born and raised in the mountains. And uh, so I will look forward to trout fishing and deer hunting. And, Ooh, nice. Yes, and uh, you tie your own flies. I tie my own flies. Yes, yes. Sometimes I have my sons do it. But, but oh, yeah. all right. It's good for them. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. So, how did you get into the dulcimer? Uh, I uh, got into the dulcimer because I uh, I found it difficult to play the guitar. Uh, I broke my fingers. Uh, working with a horse uh, many years ago, and uh, arthritis, or arthritis has set in. And I love music, and I found it more difficult to play my guitar. And I saw this dulcimer at a flea, uh, at a flea market in uh, Austin, and it was on sale for a dollar, and I talked the guy down to 50 cents. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> That's and uh, I got, uh, got a book entitled uh, Dulcimer for Idiots, and took off. <laughs> so, the rest is history. That's right. I hear you play the Amazing Grace. Yes. Uh, Could oh, you play yeah, that part? Sure. The dulcimer had Scottish the food, Sc so how, yes, how perfect. Yes, the, the dulcimer came to the United States with the, uh, or to the New World with the Scottish settlers. Uh, this is called a mountain dulcimer, and uh, they're found um, in Kentucky, in that area of Appalachia. The uh, folk singer by the name of Gene Ritchie began to make them famous. And then uh, perhaps you may, might remember um, Richard Farina, uh, Mimi and Richard Farina. I don't. Yeah, well, they were, they were folk singers. Uh, Mimi Farina is Joan Baez's sister. 
Uh, I would have uh, recognized that name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Richard Farina uh, played the dulcimer. Um, Pete Seeger also plays the dulcimer a little bit. Oh, okay. So again, uh, very famous name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's uh, a, a four-stringed instrument or a three-stringed instrument. It's much like the baptize, or uh, it's much like the bagpipes, oh. in that you have a drone note. This this note never changes. It's always the same one. And you play the melody off of these these strings, which are the same, the same tone, the same wow. tone. This is Kathy Hounshaw with our story, Spirited Away. Thank you for watching.